Hey everyone, welcome back. Ready to dive into something really intriguing. I'm ready, let's do it. Today, we're tackling an idea that, well, kind of turns things upside down. We're talking about the possibility of trying less to achieve more. Interesting. I like it already. Right, it's like counterintuitive, you know? Right. And we're exploring this through the lens of Zen philosophy. Our main source of inspiration today is Zen Secret. Okay, I'm intrigued. So how does the Zen Secret approach this idea? Well, they use this really cool metaphor of life being like a river. Have you ever thought about that? Like, are we always fighting the current, trying to force things to happen our way? I see where you're going with this. Yeah. Because in Zen, the emphasis is often on acceptance, on going with the flow. Okay. Right? Exactly. And that's where Zen Secret really resonated with me. They're saying maybe there's a more effortless path if we could just understand how to work with the natural flow of life instead of constantly battling against it. And you know what's fascinating here is this isn't just some new age self-help trend. This river metaphor, this idea of working with life's flow, it connects directly with some really core Zen principles. I'm talking about acceptance, non-attachment, trusting the natural order of things, ideas that have been around for centuries. Okay, I have to admit, those principles, while they sound amazing in theory, they've always seemed a bit vague to me. Like, how do they actually play out in day-to-day -day life? I hear you. Okay, so let's take acceptance, for example. In the Zen sense, acceptance isn't about resigning yourself to a bad situation. It's not about just giving up. It's really more about acknowledging reality as it is right now without getting caught up in wishing things were different. So like if you're stuck in traffic. Exactly. If you're stuck in traffic, instead of stressing and getting all worked up, you simply accept, okay, I'm in traffic, hmm. you know. Maybe use that time to listen to a podcast like this one. Okay, that clicks. That makes a lot more sense. So what about non-attachment? That one always seemed tricky. Isn't that just a recipe for like apathy? Ah, uh, yeah, that's a common misconception, but not quite. It's definitely not apathy. Non-attachment in this context is about shifting your focus. It's about focusing more on the process of what you're doing rather than being completely fixated on a specific outcome. Could you give an example? Sure. Let's say your goal is writing a book, mm -hmm. right? Non-attachment in this case would be pouring your heart into the writing, enjoying the process of crafting each sentence, each chapter, but not being consumed by whether or not it gets published. Hmm, okay. So you're fully present in the journey itself, not just fixated on the destination. Wow, that's a really interesting way to look at it. I've always struggled with finding that balance between really pushing myself towards my goals and also accepting things when they don't go as planned. It's the dance for sure. A dance we all have to learn. And honestly, that's where trusting the natural order comes in, having a little faith that things will unfold as they should, even if we don't have all the answers or everything doesn't happen on our timeline. It's like realizing that sometimes the best thing we can do is just get out of our own way. Right. right? So if we're not supposed to be constantly striving, constantly pushing, does Zen Secret suggest that trying less actually leads to more happiness? That definitely seems to be a core idea. It's about finding that sweet spot between effort and acceptance. There's this great analogy in the book they compare it to floating in water. If you're constantly struggling tense, you'll just end up sinking. But if you relax, trust the water to hold you, you can stay afloat effortlessly. Working with the current, not against it. Exactly. Yeah. Finding that harmony between action and acceptance. This deep dive has given me a lot to think about. It's really making me reevaluate how I approach, well, pretty much everything. It's powerful stuff. So if I could kind of sum it up, it seems like embracing these core Zen principles, acceptance, non-attachment, and trust in the natural order, that could be a really powerful path to a more fulfilling and maybe even a more successful life. I tend to agree. Now, here's a little challenge for everyone listening, something to ponder. What if you picked just one area of your life? just what, whether it's work, relationships, personal goals, anything, and consciously experimented with this trying less approach. Ooh, I like that. Right. Yeah. What would happen if you let go of that need to control everything and instead just trusted the flow a bit more? What would that look like? What would change? Just something to think about as you go about your day. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. It was a good one. It really was. Until next time.